So now that we saw how we can enable NFS share and SMB in your production environment, here is we have the version 10 of our Vim backup server here, which is the community edition. So here we'll go to inventory and here in file share, we simply click on add file share here. Here we have the options which introduce in V10 application, which is file share, NFS share, and SMB share. So we'll click on NFS share here, and here we'll type the IP address, colon, prompt slash, NFS. And we have the actually advanced here, which is by default is great option. And next, and here you can actually change the faster backup or the default one and we'll click on apply so now we have created data store and we add it successfully next and finish now we have the nfs share here you can right click and add it to the new job or you can choose the properties and change the option So here, as I said before, in our vSphere, we have VM02 here in NFS data store. That's great. So we'll go back to our Vim backup and here, again here, we can add another file share or you can create a backup job or restore NFS share here. Or of course, you can go to home and choose the file share here. But here we have all that you need. You can create file share. You can create a backup job here. And this is the name, let's say NFS backup job one. And we're going to select this folder which is included our virtual machine and next and this is the default repository and the retention policy here and we can actually add it to our vim copy job to transfer it to the outside location or in your disaster site next and here we can say the schedule and apply and we can run the job. So we'll go back to home here and we'll monitor the backup job here. So now we have successfully created the full backup from our virtual machine that's stored in our NFS share here. And next is we're going to restore this option.